guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is probably another one of my favorite videos. Today, I'm going to be continuing the series of my Mamma Mia look takeovers and as a celebration of the new Mamma Mia 2 coming out, one of my all-time favorite movies, I am going to be traveling back in time and turning myself into young Donna, as you can probably see. This look turned out so unbelievably perfect. I am so proud of how it looked. Unfortunately, I had big plans to go outside and to take some really cool shots, and it's just not happening. Like, it's a torrential downpour out there. It is not great. Anyways, let's get into me turning into young Donna. But if you close your eyes. Set my face, so I use the BB Fresh. Eight in one beauty bomb. Doesn't work. No. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a breakout, so I just thought I would set my face already. You've already seen it a hundred times. No need for me to rehash it. So I did that, put on my concealer and all of that. So now we're going to go into the rest of the makeup. And for this young Donna look, the one in particular I'm looking at, and throughout the whole movie really, she's not wearing a lot of makeup. It looks like she has no eye makeup on really, a little bit of mascara, and not even like a lip. It looks like it's her natural lip. So that's what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna make myself a little bit tan with some bronzer, but we're gonna keep it really, really light. So I thought I would talk through it instead of the last one where I did a voiceover because it's going to be so light. First thing we are going to do is take the Smashbox lid primer and I'm going to obviously set my eyes and I'm just going to take a form of a beauty blender and just blend that out. And I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder. I'm gonna dab into that a tiny bit and just set my upper eye. My upper eye. My eye. Lid. <laughs> okay, and Lily has very natural, or I should say young Donna has very natural eyebrows, so I'm kind of just gonna leave mine how they are and peed into that very, you know, 80s kind of just I don't even know what A's eyebrows look like, but I just feel like they would be natural, you know? I don't know. I don't know, I'm I'm reeling in my bushy brow today. I thought maybe we would just finish off the face because we are halfway there, you know? So, to get myself a little bit more tanned, oh, my nails chipped, I just got them done. To be a little bit more tanned like she is, I'm going to take my Beauty Balm Bronzer Really nice color, kind of work that in, not crazy. Just give myself a little bit more tannage, you know what I'm saying? Did it do anything? I don't really know. Then I'm going to go in with my, you guessed it, Maybelline Master Contour Kit in the blush. Because young Donna is a goddess and we love a goddess, I'm going to take my Tardis Pro Glow. I just got some water on it, sorry and I'm going to take Lit, you know, convenient, that is that one. And we're just gonna give her some highlight because she's a glowing goddess in islands of Greece, or Calicari, I should say. All right, face is done, now let's go into the eyes. I'm taking my big fluffy blending brush and just kind of make sure it's all blended. Then I'm going to take the Inferno kit from Bad Habit and I'm going to take one shade in particular, I'm going to take Smolder. And here's where it gets tricky. I have to use a very light hand because I don't want a lot of product. I literally just want a little bit of dimension. I'm just working that into the crease very lightly. I guess I can bring you closer for this hot AF outside. So I'm just gonna do the same with the other eye. I'm really hitting off that product, extra product. Ooh, can I speak? No. We look super tan when you're up close like this and you can see all my imperfections right now. And I'm also just going to go in with Baked. I'm just going to set that on my whole eyelid. Just kind to, well, kind to, gonna kind of set all of the makeup. Alrighty, that's easy peasy eyeshadow done. I'm also going to take my Dirty CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. I haven't used it in so long. Immediately on the other side, I have a smudger. 
just adds a little bit more dimension to the eye. And then after you do that kind of smoldery effect, I'm going to go in, I'm making my nails so dirty, sad. I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I'm going to line my lower lash line kind of to make my eyes pop. All right, once you have some eye poppage, you guessed it, it's time for mascara. In the movie, Young Donna and Lily James have some very natural, beautiful lashes. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my voluminous lash paradise and just lash it up, baby. And I'm going to try and spread it and make it as natural looking as possible. And then to complete the look, I'm just going to take a Vaseline, a nice natural kind of glow to them. So that is it for the makeup. Now we're going to move into hair and of course the outfit after that. So for hair, my bangs are a little bit wild right now, but for hair, this is going to be a little bit more, take a little bit more time if you're starting from a straight base like I am. So I've got some clips, got some gross hairbrush. But first things first, we're working with a high heated wand. So I'm going to take my Orlando Pity, Orlando, <laughs> Orlando Pita Play Atmo Shield Hair Protectant Spray. I got this from my FabFitFun box and it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna give that a spray. You use this in dry hair. I'm spraying my light so it's helpful. I'm just gonna kind of work that in, keep my hair protected. We're going to be doing pretty tight curls. So I'm just going to break my hair off into sections. My hair is so fine that if I do this, it will be crinkly by the time I take it out, but it's a must. So I'm going to be taking my smaller wand today, and this is the Ceram Core True Ceramic Infrared Technology Curling Wand, and I'm putting it on 430, which I don't know if it's a good decision, but it helps me to not keep it on my hair so long. So basically, we're just going to be taking small sections. Actually, we're going to be taking different size sections because she has more of a natural wave, so we want to kind of get that vibe. I'm be taking it away from my face and holding it for about five seconds. And you just kind of palm it in your hand to let that curl bounce and just pull it out. As you can see, this one is quite ringlety, so you want to be taking different sizes and going different ways to enhance a more natural curl. Ow, burn my head. And for these, I'm bringing the curl all the way down to make for a more natural curl as well. And you want to pull them out as you take them because you don't want them to be too curled, you know? You hear what I'm saying? And if some pieces are straighter than others, that is okay because it leaves for a more natural looking curl. All right. Now we're going to repeat that for the next phase, but more so focusing pieces of hair to shape your face. I'm going to leave my bangs alone for the moment. I'm going to do this piece away from my face. And we're just going to repeat the same process on these pieces of hair. Maybe a little bit more ringlety ones, so it really shows curl. I love this one because it gets so hot and it can curl so fast. And then you repeat with the other side, making sure you're missing no straight hairs like this one. Okay. So once you have it curled, you've got kind of the Donna wave, the natural floofy wave. I'm just going to give it a light brush through once I let it set for a minute. I just like to play with it and give it some volume. And for these bangs, I am just going to floop them a little bit. I don't have a Donna bang, unfortunately. So volumized, I love it. And if you see any straight pieces or pieces that aren't curled the same, that's okay because it's supposed to signify a natural curl and most natural curls don't have uniform curls and aren't curled all the same way in the same places. So what we are going to do in the scene where she's buying the overalls, which you'll soon see is the outfit I picked, she has her hair kind of tied back a little bit. So because I don't have her bangs, 
I'm just going to pick up random pieces, not really go gung-ho with it. And I'm just going to kind of swoop it and bobby pin it. Um, and then I'll leave part of my bang out. And the same goes with this side. And again, just bobby pin it. And that is young Donna Sheridan's hair. It's got some volume, it's got a natural curl. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to pair it with the outfit, so let's move on to that. I'm going to show you my outfit. <laughs> so, this is the blouse, it's nice and flowy. It gives me those 1980s, 1970 vibes. And this is, come closer what the pendant looks like I think it is so cute and works perfectly so the top is a little bit cropped but you know Donna likes to show her moves so I think it's super cute and then paired with my overalls makes for a beautiful look then you can see the boots and I think that they work absolutely perfect back you up a little bit I, I could not be more pleased with how these turned out so freaking cool. Yeah. You can hear it out there, right? Not just me. Hey guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. It was probably one of my all time faves. Like I said, I just love how young Donna dresses. I love her hair. It really comes together and Oh my gosh, I just like love this hairstyle. I'm gonna do it all the time now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did and you felt some young Donna vibes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I do do a lot of celebrity look takeovers, movie takeovers, all of that type of stuff, along with makeup tutorials and mental health discussions and all of that. It's a pretty versatile channel. I know it's like a big pill to swallow sometimes, but it's me, so if you like this chick, then make sure to do that. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias because I constantly post and I'm chatting with you guys on a more personal level. The AC just went on, thank you. But I'm going to sign off and sit up with my dog because she is terrified of the thunder. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I seriously love you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. But if you close your eyes